The largest two-day food festival in the country underway right here in the Queen City. And the streets obviously were full downtown, so were plenty of stomachs, including mine. As thousands of people sampled the offerings at the 28th Annual Taste of Buffalo. As you may have guessed, ice cream and cold beverages, some of the best sellers with today's warm temperatures. Nearly 60 restaurants plus a handful of wineries taking part today and tomorrow. And by the way, new this year, the taste of 10 for 20. Smaller size portions at 10 different restaurants for about $20. I've always been impressed by the by the restaurants in Buffalo. We got a great eating culture, and, which I take full advantage of, as you can see. <laughs> um, and I've got my my favorites, but I'm looking to find some new places here. There's so many pla so many restaurants in the city I haven't been to. By the way, the Taste of Buffalo runs until nine tonight, and from eleven to seven tomorrow. And I was fortunate enough to be at a judge out there. Had a great time, great food, obviously. Come on down and enjoy it. Plenty of people looking to head down to the Taste this weekend. And we wonder if the weather is going to be good for them. What's on the menu there? Our meteorologist, Autumn Lewandowski, has this very difficult job. She is outside this evening with the details. Autumn. You're okay, right? Oh, Ron, it is a rough, rough job indeed. But hey, like they say, someone's got to do it. There are still plenty of people in downtown Buffalo. Beautiful breeze out here. Looking behind me, there is a ton of people still down Delaware. A nice breeze, as I mentioned.